This is how to fix FPS drops and boost FPS in all of the games that you play. Whether it be Fortnite, Valorant, Minecraft or even your mom. You can go ahead and boost FPS and fix any of the FPS drops, stutters, lags, spikes or hitches using this guide. But before jumping into the video, just make sure to leave a quick like on the video so that it can reach more people and help them as well. And make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new uploads. But with that, let's dive straight into today's video. So the first thing that you want to do is go down into the description of this video and download the FPS Boost Pack 2023 from my website. The website does contain a few ads, so just make sure to skip them. And once you have downloaded the pack, just go ahead and right click on it to extract it using 7-zip, FinRAR or whatever you want. Once the pack has been extracted, go ahead and open it up and inside of here, the first thing that you want to do is open the create a restore point. This is to make sure that if you are not happy with any of the changes that we're going to be making in this video, you can go ahead and simply restore your PC before you had applied any of those changes in the first place. So what you want to do is select the drive where your windows installed, click on configure, make sure that turn on system protection is checked and set the max uses to around 4 or 5%. Hit OK, then click on create, you can go ahead and name it anything. I'm gonna go ahead and name it joe and you might be asking joe who and you already know what's coming after it go ahead and click on create and it's gonna go ahead and create a restore point that you can later use in order to revert any of the changes if you don't like them so now that the restore point has been successfully created we can close out of this and move on to the optimizations we're gonna be going ahead and disabling the startup apps and then we're gonna be going ahead and moving forward with these steps so go ahead and double click on it to open it up it will take you to the task manager the section in the startup apps and all you need to do here is just right click on any of the ones that you don't want to start up with your windows and click on disable just make sure that you don't disable something that is required for game for example vanguard train notification is required for valorant so i'm gonna go ahead and enable it instead of disabling it but i don't want to start up the brave or free download manager or even all of these so what i have done is just right click on them click on disable and now they won't start up with the windows this will not only help the overall performance of your pc but it will also decrease your boot up times so go ahead and close out of this and then what you want to do is right click on the turn off auto windows updates and run it as administrator this is going to go ahead and disable all of the automatic update services so that your windows doesn't go into random optation process while you're playing a game giving you very high lag and ping spikes so that's why we're going to be going ahead and disabling the automatic windows updates once it has been done you can go ahead and press any key to continue and if you want to go ahead and update your windows you can go ahead and do so manually then moving on to the optimized windows settings i want to show you guys what's inside of it first so open up and click on edit and the credit goes to how to youtube as you can see here so almost everything that the registry file does is mentioned here it is a long list so i'm not going to be going ahead and explaining every single thing but you can always go ahead and read these comments such as disable let's unnecessary apps running in the background and all of that good stuff so go ahead and read through this if you want to but we're going to be going ahead and closing it up and double click on it to open it then go ahead and hit yes and hit ok this is going to change a bunch of settings as well as some of the hidden settings inside of the registry giving you a massive fps boost and also lowering your input delay now we can go ahead and move on to the real part and that is first clean up so open it up and run the delete logs.cmd as admin make sure that you run it as admin otherwise these won't work properly it's going to go ahead and delete all of the log files that the windows has no use for anymore this whole cleanup process will not only free up some space inside of your pc but also increase the overall performance and the maintainability of your windows as well this process can take a couple of minutes depending on the amount of files that you have so make sure that you are patient so once the deletion of logs has been completed and you have closed the file what you want to do is double click on the disk clean up and make sure that you select the drive where your windows is installed hit ok and then it's gonna go ahead and scan for any of the temporary files as well as any of the unnecessary files that have been building up inside of your windows so i do regularly clean all of these that's why i only have 200 mbs here but for some of you guys it may be in gigabytes so once the scan has been completed what you want to do is make sure that everything here is checked and also make sure that you don't have anything important inside of the recycle bin because that is going to be deleted as well and what you want to do is click on ok hit delete files and then it's gonna go ahead and delete all of those unnecessary files. I highly recommend you to repeat this whole cleanup process like at least once a week. So once the disk cleanup has been completed, what you want to do is right click on the temdelete.cmd and run it as administrator as well. This one is going to be pretty fast because the disk cleanup does help with it as well. So press any key to continue. Then as for the windows update cache, what we're going to be going ahead and doing is once again right click and run it as administrator. It's going to go ahead and just stop the windows update service first and then what it's going to do is clean up all of the previous update cache files that are no longer required by the windows. Once it has been done, press any key to continue and now you can go back 
back into the pack. Open up the disabled services and here is the list of services that we're going to be going ahead and disabling. One little quick thing that I want to discuss with you is if you right click and click on edit and change this 4 to A3, it's going to set the service to manual. If you set it to 2, it's going to set the service to delayed and if you set it to 1, it's going to set the service to automatic. So in future, if you want to use any of these services and you want to enable them, all you need to do is just change this 4 to 1 and hit save and then just go ahead and apply the registry file. And once again, the credits are all here to LMX and the how to YouTube for compiling this list of registry files, although they are available throughout the internet. So what we're going to be going ahead and doing is go through all of these services one by one and disable them. Just make sure that you don't disable any of the services that you use. For example, if you use Bluetooth services, then go ahead and skip this one. But since I don't use the Bluetooth service, I'm going to go ahead and double click on it, hit yes, hit OK, and now the Bluetooth service will be disabled the next time I restart. Then for the disabled diagnostic and telemetry services, I highly recommend you to go ahead and disable these because these are the most useless services right here. Then for the download maps manager, just go ahead and click on it, hit yes, hit ok. Then for the disable extra services, once again, you can go ahead and open it up and check out the services that are listed here, such as the graphics monitor, the disable image acquisition, windows error reporting service, compatibility assistance services. Just go ahead, double click on it, hit yes, hit ok. Then for the disable printer services, once again, if you don't use a printer, then just go ahead and use this. If you do use a printer, then go ahead and skip this one. I don't use a printer, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. Then for the disable Windows Defenders, it's just going to go ahead and disable some of its services, not it entirely. If you want to entirely disable the Windows Defender, which I highly recommend, since it takes up a lot of resources, you can go ahead and check out a video that I made some time ago on how to completely disable Windows Defender. Then for the disable Xbox services, just go ahead and click on it, hit yes, hit ok, and now we are done with the pack. You can go ahead and close out of it, you can delete the pack or even keep this cleanup folder with you, so that you can go ahead and do this whole cleanup process once again. But yeah, that's gonna be it. So yeah, if this video helped you in any way, shape or form, then make sure to leave a like down below so that it can reach more people and help them as well. And also make sure to hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the newer videos. With that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay awesome.